Welcome everyone to the Ecolite virtual demo, which illustrates the features and advantages of using EMS uh, technology and our innovative bone densitometer, ECOS. This session is divided into three parts and introduction to the company, virtual demo, and of course, lastly, uh, some time to collect your questions. But first things first, Ecolite is a growing medtech company located in Italy, involved in the development of innovative technologies in the medical device arena. In less than three years, it has built a sales net to work of 40 distributors and several hundreds of satisfied customers worldwide. Our mission is to provide the world with the very first uh, solution for a non-ionizing assessment of bone health and fracture risk prevention. ECOS, which is our bone density meter, represents the first echographic solution for bone health assessment at lumbar spine and proximal femur through a simple and fast echographic scan. ECOS is based on EMS technology, an innovative approach which has been patented worldwide, and it is meant to be the future of osteoporosis prevention and diagnosis, as well as bone health short-term and long-term monitoring. AMS, uh, radiofrequency echographic multispectrometry, processes the raw unfiltered signals acquired during a scan and provides accurate information about the bone microarchitecture, overcoming all the limitations of DEXA and uh, QUS systems. The examination is completely radiation free, fast and precise. And it is suitable for uh, mass population investigation without any limitation of uh, age, BMI or physical condition. Important key opinion leaders have already validated this exclusive technology through several research studies. For both skeletal sites, that the femur, uh, REMS technology has, has demonstrated a superior performance in terms of precision, repeatability uh, of the measurements, at the same time showing a very high diagnostic agreement with the DEXA, which exceeds at 90%. And of course, these results confirm that REMS technology is the future of bone health management. Some advantages, well, ECOS does not need uh, for a certified operator, no need for shielded room uh, because it's completely radiation free. The software automatically identifies the target bone interfaces within the sequence of the acquired signals and discards noisy acquisitions and artifacts, reducing the dependence on the operator and delivering highly reliable quantitative and qualitative measurements. Thanks to these very advanced features, EMS technology and Ecolite devices uh, obtained the FDA clearance uh, as well as many other uh, certifications from other countries in the world. Ecos device, Ecolite devices are portable and can be used in any location and any condition. And our technology is also available in the ultra portable and ultra light version. Uh, this way, bone examinations can be performed wherever you want uh, by simply connecting the main unit to a laptop using a USB cable. We kindly invite you to visit our website, www.ecolightmedical.com. And uh, for any commercial inquiries, please write to sales at ecolight.it.
Welcome everybody. I am Francesca Rizzo, clinical application specialist from Ecolight. And today I will show you the application in vivo of our brand technology. So I talk from the uh, Ecolight showroom in uh, the airport uh, located in Lecce in the south of Italy. What you see on your screen is the anagraphic page that uh, in which we will collect the data of the patient. As you can see, uh, all the anagraphic data are, uh, are filled within the form in order to uh, proceed with the anatomical scan. So I will rapidly go through uh, the demonstration and afterwards describe you some features of our technology. I select the femur, press save, and prepare the patient from the, for the, uh, the echographic femoral scan. As I said, the brain's acquisition works as a standard echographic uh, acquisition. It's very fast and simple. And uh, therefore, we will apply some acquisition gel on the spinal rotation uh, on the femur of the patient. With our convex probe of average frequency of 3.5 megahertz, we will apply the probe on the, on the leg and look for the bone uh, interface that is depicting the profile of the femoral uh, bone. What you see here in the uh, in the demo image is the trochanter, the femoral neck, as well as the femoral head here on the right. The acquisition of the femur lasts only 40 seconds, and you will follow it by having a look at the green bar below the demo image. As I said, the um, B mode image is uh, what the algorithm needs in order to just locate the region of interest of an eye. In fact, brain technology is not based on the uh, analysis of the image, but on the spectral, multi spectral comparison of the raw signal gained during the time of acquisition. During the time of acquisition, 256 lines of scan are collected and all the data are then collected from the uh, femoral side of the patient and processed in order to obtain a specific spectrum that is specific for our patient. This uh, spectrum is then compared with those belonging to Ecolite database. Ecolite database has been built in the late, more than the latest 10 years and involves a database of patients that, of course, follow, uh, fall within the categories of healthy, osteopenic, and osteoporosis. So the algorithm will compare the spectrum of our patients with those. Um, that are collected in our database. And when the main characteristic of the spectra matches together, the patient will be recognized as falling in one of the diagnostic, uh, diagnostic categories. In uh, uh, this way, you have a very fast and automatic, precise, and reliable um, diagnostic uh, classification. As you will see on the screen in a second, the medical record will be automatically displayed right after the analysis. Within the medical record that you see on your screen, you have all the information of the patient, 
um, summarized on the upper part of our medical record. In the central part of the record, you have the T score of the patient plotted on a graph uh, against BMD and age. And right below, a table giving the information about the neck um, um, bone density in terms of BMD, T score, and Z score. On the left, on the right part of the medical record, you have a representative image with the femoral neck color in the color code of the resulting T score, and right below, a table summarizing the data about the total information of the femur as well as the trochan Here at the bottom of the page, you have a table that is giving you two more information. It's called fracture risk assessment and is displaying two uh, parameters, the fragility score and the fragility risk of each fracture at five years. Let's see what it means. On the second page of our medical records, you have a page dedicated to the innovative parameter that equalize the value. That is the fragility score, an innovative parameter that is describing the quality of the microarchitecture of the bone. Such a parameter is a number that is completely um, independent from the BMD and it's going, it's ranging from 0 to 100. How it is calculated? In this case, the spectrum deriving from the structure uh, of the patient is compared with the database of um, spectra gathered from people who underwent and did not underwent a fracture. In such a way, the a fragility score that is, for example, closest to the hundred number, to uh, the hundred number, will uh, mean a similar, the maximum similarity of the bone microarchitecture of the patient with the one of a fractured bone. But what is also very informative is the fact that in combining the quantitative aspect of the information given by the T-score with the qualitative aspect of the bone information given by the fragility score, you obtain a seven class risk of fracture that are listed here below at the bottom of the page, where you see a seven risk class growing in severity and the depicting the risk of the patient at five years of getting a hip fracture. I will now go uh, forward with the spine acquisition. As you see, once closed the medical record, the next anatomical site is already selected. I will just have to press save and ask the patients to be ready for the spine acquisition. The spine acquisition is a transabdominal echographic scan. Therefore, I will apply some echographic gel on the abdomen of the patient. As you see from the echographic phone, what the, the operator needs to check in order to perform the acquisition is the um, are just two parameters, the depth and the focus, that will allow the operator to put the bone interface that you can see here in the center of the echographic cone and as much as possible attached to the uh, focal line, that is the red line, horizontal line, um, uh, in the center of the echographic cone. So the beam of image must be in the center of the cone and within the focal area 
that is delimited by the four angles that you see on the side of the screen. So the acquisition is software assisted. It means that an acoustic signal will tell the operator where uh, when to move the probe and uh, move from one vertebra to the next one. As we all know, in order to perform a diagnosis of uh, uh, of osteoporosis, what is needed is the um, the, uh, the acquisition of the lumbar tract going from L1 to L4. For the operator, in order to know that uh, he's acquiring on the right uh, anatomical tract of the spine, during our training, the operator will learn uh, how to recognize the reference uh, point for conducting a correct acquisition. What uh, we know is that, um, for example, right below the umbilical button, it's uh, placed L3, the most visible of the arch of the lumbar, the, the lumbar spine tract. And uh, the interface of the bone will be positioned right below a blue pulse, a, a black pulsating tube that is the lumbar tract of the aorta. As you could see from the in vivo acquisition, the B mode image uh, uh, is, of course, affected by movement of the patient, by the respiration of the patient, for example. Well, this is not a problem. As we said, Rens acquisition is not based on the analysis image. And not only, on the signals coming from artifacts due to the patient respiration, or for example, by the presence of artifacts on the spine, such as calcification, osteopath, and so on, will, be, uh, will result in a spectrum that do not match in any way with the one of reference uh, given by the bone itself, and the algorithm will directly uh, discard it, taking it off, uh, out from the analysis. This means that the result that you're going to get with the RAMS scan is going to be a precise value that is dealing only with the context of bone related to um, that exam examining track. Due to uh, these advantages and to the fact that the RAMS scan is completely non invasive, it of course opens uh, the field of application to many categories of patients that uh, at the moment are limited within the use of bone densitometry. For example, some patients who undergo chronic treatment, some oncologic treatment, for example, that are already uh, undergoing radiation, may have also the access to an, a non-invasive um, analysis able to monitor the bone health of their, uh, the bone status of their bones, since we know that many, many treatments are affecting it over time. What you see now on the screen is the medical record um, dedicated to the lumbar tract, and it's very similar to the one we have seen for the femur, with the difference that on the uh, table below, you will have the average BMD T-score and Z-score, while on the uh, red part, uh, right part of our medical record, there will be an example of the spine acquired and uh, their color code according to the values calculated and listed in the table below as single values. In this uh, uh, moment, the operator also has the chance, if not sure of uh, one or two 
uh, of the calculated bonds uh, to discard one of the vertebrates from the analysis. In that case, the um, medical record will automatically update, updating then the result. Of course, uh, we have the calculation of the fragility score that uh, is one of the Ecolite optional modules um, that uh, is this time calculated on the spine and when combined with the T-score is giving a fracture risk at five years for all the major osteoporotic fractures. The last thing I want to show you is within the next page is uh, the page dedicated to another optional module uh, developed by Ecolite, that is the body composition. The body composition is going to give uh, some more information, this time on the soft tissue of the patient, uh, such as the body fat percentage that you also see here within uh, the central table of uh, the medical record, as well as the information about the basal metabolism of the patient. With this, I have shown you all the applicability of our technology. I hope you have enjoyed the demonstration. And please, I would like to uh, invite you to visit our website in order to have all the information also related to the literature of many uh, international research centers that are conducting and publishing uh, involving RAM technology data. With this, I really thank you for your attention and uh, see you to the, to the next appointment from Ecolite series. Thanks to Francesco, of course, for this uh, very nice demonstration of this technology. And as promised, uh, we are now at the question and answer session time. So please use, do not hesitate to use the uh, question and answer button, which you find uh, in the middle and below uh, the Zoom interface. In the meantime, uh, well, we have received already a few. Uh, one uh, question is about uh, short, uh, short uh, monitoring for, for bone quality, bone health of the patients, and uh, in particular, if the examination can be repeated uh, already after six months. Well, uh, of course, the examination is completely safe, can be even repeated more frequently if needed. However, um, uh, in case of uh, bone ch of, of changes in the bone metabolism uh, that uh, goes fast, well, Ecolite technology is indeed able to detect small uh, differences, thanks to which, in, in fact, are uh, significant differences. They, they, they tell us about the bone status of the patient uh, because of. Uh, the features of uh, precision and uh, repeatability of the measurements, of course. A second question that has arrived is about the use, possibly use on pregnant women, of course. Uh, well, yes, yes, uh, female uh, scan is 100% is safe. And can, so uh, bone health assessment can be conducted also uh, on pregnant women on the female side. And uh, uh, to this end, we have also a, a relatively new publication which demonstrates the loss of bone mineral density in pregnant women compared to uh, non-pregnant uh, women. Uh, a couple of question about the learning curve i would say so how long does it take to use to use the technology well uh, it depends as of course on the starting point but on average uh, two three days uh, together with a, a senior 
uh, specialist of, uh, of Ecolite or partners normally are sufficient. And of course, uh, for people who has a background in uh, ultrasonography or echography in general, this learning curve can be much shorter. In a couple of days, you will be able to uh, independently use uh, uh, Ecolite technologies and uh, devices. So uh, accuracy compared to DEXA, I mean, uh, there is a recent study, which is actually uh, very interesting, uh, and uh, uh, it has been published on Bonn on more than 4,000 uh, women. Uh, accuracy is, uh, again, higher than 90%. And uh, yes, we are uh, very happy to be uh, you know, uh, to provide accurate and precise bone density measurements for uh, the bone health of uh, the entire population, basically, because indeed uh, an ultrasound uh, investigation does not have uh, specific limitations, can be used for population mass screening, pregnant women, fragile patients, such as uh, oncologic patients, and so on. Uh, about the correlation with DEXA. So, um, uh, so uh, to be more precise, uh, let's speak about Pearson correlation coefficient. And uh, well, uh, it exceeds, uh, it is higher than uh, 0 0.9. So as far as I can tell, it's 0 0.93. Uh, plus 0 0.93 for the vertebrae and uh, plus 0 0.92 uh, for the femur, very, very high correlation uh, for BMD and T-square values obtained with the both uh, RAMs and the DEXA. Uh, will the hip measurements be good enough on its own? Well, uh, According to the uh, guidelines, uh, both sides, uh, spine and femur, are, are worth investigating precisely because they are uh, axial sites uh, and the they, 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 they risk of fracture have, can have consequences. So uh, hip measurement alone is an indication. Uh, spine and hip is probably uh, more descriptive of the possible condition uh, of the patient. Uh, well, publication wise, we have more than 200 publications. So uh, in case of interest uh, in some specific publication, please write us and we will uh, get back to you with some uh, interesting paper. Uh, the time, analysis time uh, after scanning, if it can be uh, reduced. Um, well, the analysis time is, uh, is uh, actually computer time. So uh, as an operator, uh, there is not much that you need to do while the, while the uh, panel PC processes the data, uh, the Medical, uh, medical doctor, the healthcare professional uh, can actually do uh, anything else. So uh, yes, with the time we, 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 we trust this will be drastically reduced, but for the moment it is just computer time and uh, does not have an impact on uh, the activity of the medical doctor. Mm. Thank you for this information. So about uh, the opinion on or recommendation on, on the REMS technology by the International Society of Clinical Densitometry. Uh, well, not yet, but uh, we will get there. We have already uh, a nice uh, um, consensus paper from the European Society uh, for osteoporosis, osteoarthritis, and musculoskeletal disease, who has reviewed the REMS technology and has welcomed the new technology in the uh, 
medical devices arena for bone health assessment. Uh, who is the typical user for EMS technology? Uh, it's not necessarily a doctor. Uh, basically, anyone can 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 learn uh, very quickly. By the way in performing accurate examinations with our technology. Uh, some couple of days, maybe three days are uh, normally enough for, for learning and for uh, obtaining accurate results. Uh, so, uh, the, this is a, I would say, clinical question. Uh, body composition. Uh, so in the report of the body composition, which is the fourth page of our medical report, uh, on the one end, we give a classification based on body fat percentage. Uh, that's why uh, the table showed uh, overweight, so yellow uh, category for the current patient. But that is for the measure we have obtained for the body fat percentage. Uh, on the other end, uh, the bottom part of the fourth page of the report was showing a, a classification not, uh, in ba to, not based on body fat percentage, but based on the BMI, uh, so the body mass index. Indeed, uh, the patient was normal uh, from a BMI point of view, but uh, slightly overweight in terms of body fat percentage as measured from our advice. Uh, any current studies in the UK? Well, uh, yes, uh, the European uh, Multicenter Clinical Trial uh, is one of those, which has been published just a couple of months ago. And uh, well, the, I mean, this is, this is a big one, a very important one with the collaboration of QOP leaders, as well as uh, other uh, medical doctors who are uh, using and doing their uh, independent uh, uh, research studies and clinical studies also. In the UK. And uh, uh, we thank Kano Bernard for the question uh, from a clinician perspectives. So all our studies, uh, which are publicly available uh, on the major uh, international uh, journals have been uh, done compared to the, to the gold standard EXA, hence, uh, uh, comparative studies publicly available have been done uh, mostly against DEXA because DEXA is uh, considered the gold standard for uh, bone health assessment in clinical practice. The uh, reproducibility of the measurements performed at different times. Well, uh, performed at different times means a follow up examination. So if the bone has not changed for the patient in the meantime, the reproducibility is actually a very good, very accurate. In terms of coefficient of variation, it can be quantified uh, as to be 0.4% for the lumbar spine and 0.3% uh, for, for the femur. So uh, approximately uh, five times more precise than what has been reported in literature uh, for DEXA investigations. And uh, uh, fracture risk in, in, in a, a patient's uh, dialyzed patient with, uh, with nephrological problems, basically. I think one is currently uh, ongoing, so we will learn soon also the results of the investigation of, of, of nephropathic patients with IMS technology. And uh, Dr. Rizzo is an ultrasonographer. No, she's, I mean, she has become one of our best, actually, uh, clinical specialists, but the background is not in ultrasonography. Really, anyone can 
quickly learn how to use Rams technology. A lot of questions about the cost. Well, please uh, feel free to contact our sales department, uh, sales at ecolite.it, and we will take in charge your request. Uh, uh, data um, coming from non-Caucasian patients, so, so the, the, the ethnicities. Well, we've done studies uh, on uh, Asian uh, population already, uh, South American population, specifically Brazil. So, uh, well, it is uh, actually validated not just on uh, uh, Caucasian patients, but on uh, every ethnicities. Uh, our tar calcification, well, no, actually one of the good, one of the advantages, many advantages for M's technology is the automatic exclusion of possible uh, aorta calcifications. Why? Because the uh, system will automatically detect the interface of the vertebra and then perform the analysis on the region of interest, which is below the vertebra. So in case of uh, calcified aorta, this is uh, sort of transparent for our algorithm. Uh, a question about uh, uh, other places, uh, uh, place, I mean, for more general bone health examination, not limited to femur and spine, uh, well, Yes, it is possible to, 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 to apply the same to build the models and apply the same technologies um, to other sites. So maybe wrist can be of interest. Uh, femur, at the moment, uh, proximal femur is, of course, I mean, being one of the two sites uh, for indicated by. by international guidelines for the diagnosis. Uh, proximal femur is currently, can be currently analyzed, but uh, uh, we can, we, we, there is no, I mean, our, uh, there, is no, there is no limitation. We can further expand the technology to work on other sites of interest, of medical interest, as well as, I mean, wrist or other sites are possible. And uh, I hope I didn't jump any question. And so, um, and another question. So uh, really anyone uh, with a training without a specific background in, uh, in medicine, uh, anyone can use uh, can use uh, uh, M's technology. Of course, training is provided by by ourselves or partners in, in your area. So, uh, for sure, uh, just couple two or three days uh, uh, being supported by by one or other specialist. Uh, anyone will learn the correct use and uh, fast and for fast and easy bone health assessment. And well, there, there has been quite a lot of questions. And uh, as a very last, uh, a very last uh, uh, message, I will uh, encourage you to contact us for, for any information or any further question you might have. Uh, please write to sales at ecolite.it and uh, uh, visit as well our website uh, with a lot of uh, uh, publications and videos and interesting material. So with this, I would uh, thank you again for being with us. I hope, we hope we have, you have enjoyed our virtual demo and uh, uh, stay tuned uh, for all the updates about times technology and Ecolite devices. Thanks a lot.
Have a good evening.